Yo, what's up guys, AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Uh, today I got some, I got another video or some battles um, I recorded off stream. Um, actually on Discord when I was talking with friends while playing and yeah, it turned out to be some good battles. Um, sometimes I do these kind of battles on the Discord server. So check it out, it's linked down in the description if you want to be part of them. Uh, but yeah, there's no commentary on this video, so I'm just doing some post -com commentary on them. And I'm gonna look at the first battle. I just had these got at these files, so I was just checking them out and it's at this battle. So um, I don't remember too much about it because it was a while back. Um, yeah, um, let's see. This is the team uh, we used in the other video as well when playing against two Duck Trail players, actually. I don't know, I think it's still a double dance reuniclus set, but when I was using it on stream, I think I changed it to a uh, psychic focus blast. But uh, yeah, my team, ha my opponent's team has a reuniclus as well. Uh, but most reuniclus I face these days are like Trick Room, Light Warp. And him using a Conkeldar, that can definitely be the case. Yeah, um, right off the bat, I don't see a ground type on his team. Uh, so my Magnus on actually does really well with Discharge because it can hit the power of fire the Ferrothorn and the others don't really like coming in on Discharge. So I can definitely apply pressure with the Magnus on. And in terms of lead, I will probably lead up with Focus Sash Mianch. It's such a good lead though. It's the fake out in the beginning and the option to U-turn if the matchup is bad. And sometimes you can just rock close combat on things that otherwise would be scary. Yeah, I do lead up with the uh, with Mian Chao. I expect something like Jealous and or Chandelure maybe to lead up. Uh, Chandelure matches up really well for my team if he's scarfed. So if he's scarfed, he can definitely lead off with that Chandelure. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, he does lead up with Chandelure. Just because my team is so weak to it and I lead off with Mian Chao. I think we're still toxic on this Mian Chao. Yeah. So I just went for toxic turn one and I saw that I was actually faster than him. So this is not choice scarf. He goes for Flamethrower. This is definitely going to bring me down to my Sash. And I just hard swap here. I don't want to U-turn on a Parathorn or something coming in and take Rocky. Uh, Iron Barb's damage or maybe Rocky Helmet Reunicle. So I just hard swap into my Mandibuzz. Because he does end up switching. And yeah, Parathorn is the one that comes in. And here I just U-turn. And he's obviously afraid of getting trapped by the... By the Magnuson, but I U turn here and I went for Magnuson here. I don't remember it. Is it? I think I think it's still Magnet Pool though. I think it's still Magnet Pool, but I wanted to test out the the sturdy. I, I don't know if I did it at this point. The other battle was Magnet Pool because the the Porygon traced it. Anyway, I just hit a Power of Fire here. And he dies, but I think it was Magnet Pool at this point and my opponent not switching. I'm pretty sure now. I knock him out, he goes into Chandelure. And yeah, because he's poisoned and not Choice Cuff, he might be Choice Packs. So I went to Mandibuzz. As he goes for Flamethrower. And it's not Choice Packs. So I guess he was Leftovers. But I, don't, I didn't see Leftovers, so I was... It was a bit, I went first here as well. Uh, I went first. My, oh my, my Mandibus is super slow, so I was like, is this guy running Iron Ball or something? Because he was, he was faster than me, so I was like, huh? How's this possible? Uh, I kind of forgot that though. So I used here. This is where the moment. This is actually the moment I realized. I, I remember. This was the moment I realized. Huh? Why am I faster? But yeah, by rewatching the game, he was faster the other turn as well. I was faster the other turn as well. That was like, oh, what's going on? How is he Iron Ball? That was what I, what I was thinking. So I had to bring in something. Um, like I remember this turn. Now he went for Trick Room, but I was like, um, why am I faster? 
Because Manibus is naturally slower than this. Like, Manibus is naturally slower, and this is like one of the slowest Manibuses in the game. So I was checking my I was checking my EVs, my nature, and I was like, okay, he has to be clicking Trick Room, right? Because I actually didn't realize I attacked first with the roost the turn before. I went into Arenaclus. I, I wasn't sure what was going on, but now that I look at it, this, this, this might have been Iron Ball. <laughs> Like maybe, maybe it's Iron Ball Trick or something. But he did go for the Trick Room there. And I just went back into Mandibus, I think. Actually, I don't want to take a Shadow Ball. This Chandelure is on a timer anyway. I don't. I think I didn't want him to go into uh, the Conkelder though. But he does have a Reuniclus, so I'm not sure if I... Yeah, I bruised. My opponent did go into Conkelder. But I guess I had Hip Out and plus Reunoclus, so I, was, I wasn't too worried there. I wasn't too worried. Like, we always go Hip Out in first. Because if, it, if it's Bulk Up, we do have Reunoclus later on to click Psychic on. Was it Psychic though? Was it Psychic at that point? I don't remember, guys. <laughs> Usually I don't really like Double Dance Reuniclus, because uh, when you face a Dark-type, it usually never gets to do anything, and I'm not the guy that's going to PP stall a Dark-type. But I felt like my Reuniclus could kind of sweep him, though, uh, just because he doesn't have a Dark-type. Like, with one Call Mind... And one Iron Defense. I'm pretty sure I beat him with Reuniclus. But my opponent decided to go for Bulk Up. But because he was a, a Trick Room setter, I was comfortable. I don't know if I go for Earthquake here though. Yeah, go for Rocks. Because because he's a Trick Room setter. So after Trick Room, he's gonna be slower than me. Didn't even do it, KO me. That's insane. I get up my Rocks. Which is nice against Chandelure because he's gonna die to the st combination Stealth Rock Poison. That means he never gets to come in for free. He can only come in when something dies and now the Trick Room ended. Did I go for Roar here? Might have. Because now I know it's set. I... Like, because I know it's set now. Or do I sl There's no way I slack off. Do, do I slack off on this? I guess I was still out damaging him, but he went for bulk up now. And I think this is the moment to go for Roar. Roar this out. But I know Arena just beats this now. Unless he crits me with Stone Edge. But Bulk Up is usually not running Facade, otherwise it gets completely wet by, the, uh, by Ghost Types. Yeah, the commentary on the, on the post ones are a bit worse because I, I usually forget what happens. <laughs> and my thought process at the time is usually more valuable than what I can give afterwards. I do roar him here. Get him into Reuniclus. I think I just uh, EQ here though. Just to get the chip on this, right? Because I have Mandibus to stall this out. And he's gonna Trick Room anyway. If he doesn't Trick Room, um, I have a lot of Pokemon I can do a lot of damage to him. But I'm definitely faster than this uh, Reuniclus. Because. The Chandelure was using Trick Room, I'm pretty sure this is going to be Trick Room as well in that case. I'm get some chip off and he did Shadow Ball me. Uh, I do die. But now I can U-turn with Mienshi, I'll get some HP back. And get in Mandy Buzz. So if I go Weavile, I guess I can go Weavile, but he has Ferrothorn plus Jellicent. 
Like, do I go for Icicle Spear? I actually do. Am I insane? Well, why don't I go into... Because... I, I just went for Crash, okay? I guess I was that confident, though. I was that confident that he would go Ferrothorn, and the moment Ferrothorn dies... Um... It opens up Night Slash for me. I guess that, that was the thought process. Because obviously, I can click Night Slash here and knock him out, so there's no way he's gonna go Jellicent uh, on an... So most likely, he's gonna anticipate my Dark type attack and goes into Ferrothorn, and I can 2 hit KO Ferrothorn with Icicle Crash after Rock's damage. And worst case, if he's max defense, I can flinch him. But because he's using a Jellicent, I think it's gonna be Spit Death. But this is the power from High School Crash Boys. Look at this. That had to be Rocky Helmet as well, because we don't see leftovers, and now I can just knock him out on the next one. He didn't go Jellicent either. But I think Jellicent was pretty low too. Oh, it was actually full HP. Oh well. Fine, I can go hard Magnus on there. And like I said, this charge is just looking so good versus him. There's no way I teleport, right? I just click this charge here, right? Right, Adino? You're clicking this charge here, right? I was gonna say, man. And he gets the cursed body on me, which is annoying again. Ah, that's what would happen. But now I paralyze him, so that's pretty decent. And now I can just teleport into Weavile. Kind of annoying because I could have 2 have KO'd him. But yeah, that's what Jellison does, guys. And he gets paralyzed again, unfortunate for you. But I was always going to click Night Slash anyway. So even if Kukeldra comes in, uh, it's Joyce Bandit Night Slash. And I can just go hard Reuniclus. And worst case scenario, I have a Brave Bird with uh, Mandibus in the back. I hate those kind of abilities. Girl's body, Sandville. Like those luck based abilities. Effect Spore. It's just annoying. Static. Flame body. All annoying, man. Yeah. Uh, he, to he has to come in on Night Slash. Three Pokemon are weak to it. He only has Conkeldar, but Conkeldar is also a bit weakened from the. Brawl with my Hippowden. So my opponent obviously is thinking, am I going Conkelder here? Yeah, on the other hand, Conkelder can win me the game too. And he decides to Night Slash, maybe hoping that he get, gets the Cursed Body again. Wait, did he actually get it? I think he got it. Yeah, he got it. Because <laughs> uh, now he can go Reuniclus and get up a Trick Room. It's a bit annoying that he got it there. I think I, do I just go Mian Show here on the Trick Room? Because I, yeah, I was going to switch anyway. Uh, but if he doesn't Trick Room, I just get in Weavile next turn. And kill him, basically. But now I can go Mandibus and kind of stall out the Trick Room. Kind of have to. And my Reuniclus might be slower than him. I don't think so, though. Because Gunkelder is definitely running like minus speed. It's on Trick Room with zero speed IVs. Pretty sure. But for some reason, my opponent Trick Roomed again here, so he actually reset the Trick Room for me. Which was strange. I think we just U turn here, get the super effective damage of. Like, I didn't need some, uh, my uh, Mian Shao to win, so pretty sure I just U turn into Mian Shao here. Because if he clicks Trick Room again, uh, I'll just get Mandibus in again. Doesn't really matter. And I still get the U-turn chip on this uh, Reuniclus. And Chandler cannot come in. Uh, Chandler can only come in uh, when something dies. But he cannot he cannot switch into Chandler. Because then he's going to take the poison damage and die. After rocks. 
if something dies and he brings in Chandelure, then Chandelure still gets to get up one attack and then die to poison. So I do get the U-turn here. Super effective damage, and I do go Reuniclus. Uh, I do go Mian Xiao, and let's see if he knocks me out there. He did go for Focus Blast, he misses. I didn't really didn't really care because I would get my Weavile in for free, and at that point I can just click Icicle Spear. I don't have to care about Conkelder coming in there. So that's basically that game. Um, obviously, it could have gone way better. Um, yeah, luckily we did hit the Toxic on the Chandler. And yeah, I think that Chandler had to be Iron Ball. Like, there's no way he can be slower than my Chandler, than my Mandibus. Maybe, actually. Maybe. Because... Ma Hold up, let me actually look this up. May may may. may Maybe Mendibus actually has a better base speed than, uh... Or they actually have the same base speed. Yeah, they actually have the same base speed, so I guess... It was a speed tie then, if... Because I'm literally 0-0 zero, zero on my men. <laughs> no, whatever. Um, let's go on to the next game. Um, let me... Let me see if I can find it. Oh, okay, guys, I think I found the battle. Um, this was against, like, when I was looking in team preview here, as you guys can see, um, I felt like, oh shit, my Renoclus is gonna sweep this guy. Look at his team. Um, if you look at his team, Rodom, Kukel, Germanitan, Weezing, Gyarados, Swampert. He has no dark type. He, has, he doesn't even have a resist to my psychic attack, psychic type attack of Renoclus. So I felt like, if once I set up an iron defense, because his only special attacker is gonna be the Rotom. Weezing can count as well, and I guess Swampert if he's running Skull or whatever. But if I set up an Iron Defense, a Darmanitan cannot break through anymore, a Gyarados cannot break through. I was really like, okay, I can easily sweep this game with um, with my Reuniclus. I just have to set up on, a, on the right Pokemon. But yeah, you guys are gonna see <laughs> some crazy stuff. And... Also, I got reminded why uh, why Weezing's ability is so broken. <laughs> so I lead up with me, me with me and Xiao in this game as my opponent leads up with Brodom. I think we just fake out here just just to scout if this is like choice scarf or whatever. Um, if it's scarfed, it's definitely gonna go into Weezing though. But uh, just in case he stays in, uh, I get some information. But I was. I was definitely uh, expecting Weezing to come in as well. It also gives me information on how my opponent actually wants to play this game. Uh, Weezing was likely physically defensive. Swamp, it could be specially defensive. But this could have been a trick, Rodom. That's why I wanted to fake out anyway. My opponent goes into the Weezing. I actually went straight for U-turn. Hold up. I guess I was that confident though. On the other hand, a full switch doesn't kill me. Oh, if it was max special attack hydro pump, he would have killed me. I guess I was that confident that it, that it would go into wheezing. <laughs> but I like the f safe pick out play better though. Yeah, uh, I did. I guess I didn't want to lose any momentum there. I get the U-turn. I get in my Hippowden. And I think I just went for straight rock straight away. I stop rock straight away. I don't care too much about Toxic Spikes. I wanted to sweep with my uh, Reuniclus anyway. And if he wish me, that's fine too. I think my opponent actually switched out there. Back into the Rodom. But I, I was fine with this. Because now I get to see if this is running leftovers or not. Because actually, in team preview, actually, this was the only thing that could potentially stop me. If it was a choice card for trick. Because then Reuniclus doesn't set up. But I wanted to confirm whether he had a choice card. Or it was leftovers, and now I get to see it with the sandstorm damage. And I was stick. It was sticky barb. It was sticky barb. Oh god, because <laughs> he showed sticky barb, so I knew the tr ah. That's why he didn't want to stay in either. Uh, I knew the trick was coming, so I was I was really deciding what am I going to bring in on the trick. It's nothing on my team will like it. Like I want to keep Magnus on as a check to Gyarados when he gets out of hand. 
Uh, but Hippowden needs the Rocky Helmet uh, to damage Conkeldor and their mana turn. Man, man, we well, I wanted to keep the Choice Band. And obviously, me and Sha wanted to keep the Focus Sash in case that Scar, their mana turn, and my Hippowden gets too low from Conkeldor or something. And Mana Buzz, yeah, I just wanted him as a U safe U turn pivot. So I felt like, okay. I'll just do it on Reuniclus. I I know for a fact he's gonna go for Trick. But later on, this is actually going to be really annoying. <laughs> because, uh, spoil, spoil, spoiler alert. Um, he, has a, he has a Weezing with the most broken ability in the game. <laughs> Negating my magic card. Which I completely didn't consider at this point. My opponent went for Defog first, which was kind of strange. Because now he's going to take that damage. But yeah, Iron Defense. I knew Trick was coming, but it doesn't affect my Arena at this point. And now I have my Iron Defense up. And he here I felt like, okay, the game is over. Because um, all I need now is to store power there. Even if I iron defense again, I will still knock out the the wheezing with stored power. And so Gyarados comes in here. I think I even went for a roost uh, for recovery here, knowing that with four with plus four defense, like two iron defenses, Gyarados can never kill me. I was just chilling. I felt like okay, this game is over. Oh, I even iron defensed again. So I saw my Pokemon, I saw my opponent Dragon Dance and I was like, oh this is never gonna help you dude. Cause even at plus six now with your Dragon Dance, you're not gonna do it kill me. I just here I was like, okay, I just need one calm and then I one shot the the wizard. But now he went first and I was like, what the heck? This guy is running Dragon Dance Dragon Tail. Are you kidding me? That was literally my that was literally my response, and now here on because of this set, this like this super bad Garrett. Why, like, why the heck would you run Dragon Dance, Dragon Tail? If you run Dragon Tail, make it defensive. Use Thunder Wave. You use Toxic, whatever. You stunt. Don't use it with Dragon Dance, dude. If you if you use Dragon Dance, Gyarados, you want to go. You want to attack first. I'm gonna use Dragon Tail. I was super tilted. Like, it's like, what the heck is this guy? And the reason it becomes difficult now is because my Reuniclus cannot cannot set up win anymore because he can always bring in this and Dragon Tail me out. So I had to look for an opportunity to Because <laughs> my Magnuson can obviously be threatening to him, but I need to get rid of the Swamp Pick first. I think, but he was at plus one, so I didn't want to predict here. That's, that's why I went for the discharge. He was still at plus one. I had to knock him out. I went Reuniclus here. And this felt like the Stealth Rocker on his team. So I felt like, oh no, this game is gonna be super rough, but no. Because he used a stupid Gyarados set with freaking Dragon. Dragon Dance, Dragon Tail. Like, you can say it was greedy on my part, but the moment you see a Dragon Dance, you're not gonna expect the Dragon Tail to come out. Like, that synergy is not there! That synergy is not there! He went for Waterfall here, I go for Iron Defense. Do I recover here or do I just store power for some chip? I just recover. So I know Dragon Tail is coming, but this way I keep my Reuniclus a bit healthy. And I was looking for something. I think I was looking for a Toxic on the Swamp Earth. But I get in my Mian Shao. He didn't... He didn't uh, Dragon Dance up yet. So I think I just went for Toxic here. Yeah, he goes into Weezing. And like I said, this is such a rough game at this point. Well, I'm getting a message on my dating app, guys. <laughs> Gotta wrap up this video. <laughs> I'm U-turning here. I was really looking for, 
How am I gonna deal with this? Okay, first off, I needed to bait in the Swampert again. So I can click Toxic on him. So, I brought in my Mandibuzz. And he revealed Sludge Bomb. And I was like, no, dude. This guy running all the sets that gonna be annoying to me. Because now Sludge Bomb can also poison my Arena Cliss. I roost first. I was really like, how am I getting past this wheezing? And here he re revealed the stockpile, and I was like, no, are you kidding me? <laughs> I knew I could roar him out though with the hip out. In. But it. I really felt like, oh no, this is so. Why am I. Why, am I, why do I have to battle such a rough game? If that wasn't. If that wasn't Dragon Dance Dragon Tail, guys, I already won with Weezing, uh, with my Renekos, but now he crits me and I have to heal up again, I think. And we're playing such a rough game here. Well, normally I would just smash this kind of, this kind of team. And just look how weak my opponent is to Garchomp, dude. Like, especially like the Earthquake Dragon, uh, Draco Meteor, Garchomp. Now I had to play out of my mind to win this game because this was now becoming a really difficult matchup. But yeah, I brought in Reuniclus and then I realized he tricked me the sticky barb and he has that ability. So I'm gonna take freaking damage from the sticky barb. And obviously he's gonna fish for a poison on me. Uh, luckily he didn't get it. Luckily he didn't get it, but yeah. Wheezing beating Reuniclus, guys. <laughs> Went into Hip out in there. Because at least I can force him out. He stockpiles again. And I can still rock first. To get up the rocks. Yeah, this was obviously gonna be super rough and this is why it's going to be a really long battle too well it's not gonna be long at this point though but usually taking longer than usual i think we have like five more minutes uh i can see from this recording but i still rock i think i tried to beat it down with earthquake though just a bit because even though he has stockpiled a few times, I'm not burned. It's super effective, so I can we- Because if- Still, if I weaken this Weezing... If I kill this Weezing, guys... Um, I can still win with Mian Shao. But now the Swampert comes in. And he's obviously gonna click Stealth Rock himself. We didn't see left though, so it was really strange to me. And I wanted to bring a Miancha on the Stealth Rock. And I wasn't sure if he wants to bring in the Weezing now. Do I U turn here or do I just. Yeah, I do U turn as Weezing comes in. And yeah, I really wanted to weaken this Weezing uh, so I can win with Miancha or get him at least in range of my uh, Weavile's Icicle Crash. Or Night Slash even. I go back into Hip Out in there. And yeah, with Bane He's obviously gonna have pain Split. That's his only reliable recovery. So I knew my Hip Out was gonna be low. And it would have been super annoying. He did swap out, so maybe he didn't have pain Split. But he actually went into the Swampert. Like, if I kill this Swampert, my Magnezone actually does a lot, a lot of work versus his team. I get this earthquake damage up, which is nice. And I'm gonna go into Reuniclus, obviously. Because uh, now, he, because he has rocks up, he's definitely gonna attack me. And I don't wanna um, bring in me and Xiao on like an earthquake or something and get right on with. Because Sandstorm is also running right now. Or even get Skull burn it, Burnt or whatever. But he waterfalled me. And yeah, he's obviously gonna. Go for the flinch here, and I just have to hope that he doesn't get it. Because Reuniclus can still, still win this game if I get rid of Gyarados. Luckily, he didn't get it. 
And I think I just iron defense here. With iron defense, he cannot beat me on this. He crits me though. But with the iron defense, I should be able to live the next waterfall. He's obviously gonna go for it. Waterfall is such an annoying move. He gets the quick claw activated. And like I said, I should be living and there's no flinch. I get to recover. And I'm just gonna recover again. If he goes Gyarados now, I can hit him with stored power. Because he has to Dragon Seal me out, right? He's taking Rock's damage first. Like I said, if Gyarados dies, um, I can win with Reuniclus setting up. I just go for stored power, expecting him to go for the... Um, for the Dragon Tail. Just imagine me at, B at plus 6, clicking stored power. I would have killed that Gyarados. <laughs> kind of annoying, but... He does Dragon Tail me out. I get a bit of chip. And I get him... He rushes me into Weavile, which is amazing, because now I get to click Night Slash. It does do it Kyoto Rotom. It does do it Kyoto Weezing as well from that amount of HP. Oh, I went just I just went for crash. Wait, what? I didn't, I didn't know why though. As a I guess Rotom was super low because it would still drop up. I, I just felt like Night Slash was a guaranteed hit. Dino, why did you crash? On the other hand, I, I guess I because I was kind of behind at that point. Uh, because of uh, the shit that happened to my Reuniclus. I wanted to guarantee a kill or a lot of damage if Conkelder comes in as well. I guess I, I should have definitely gone for... Okay, I would have definitely 2 it KO'd this though. <laughs> yeah, I would have 2 it KO'd this Rotom. Maybe, maybe I just crash again, I don't know. Not much my uh, Weevil does this game. Do we just go zone? I mean, he does have a Swamp it though. Hold up, but now Gyarados is gone, so I can actually win with, Re with Reuniclus. I guess that's what up. That's what's up. My opponent went for Hydro. With the leftovers, that shouldn't do it, KO. I think I just went for Teleport here. Anticipating the Swampy to come in. And do I go into Weavile again? To click Icicle Crush? What are we doing? Where do we go, me and Shao? I went. To, oh, I went to do Reuniclus and set up now. Because with Iron Defense up, I should be winning. Yeah. Because. He's gonna try to flinch me down. And I think this is the point where he forfeits, though. Because he can obviously go Weezing, but. I will have a Call Mind up on the Weezing. And then I just knock him out with Sword Power. And with the Iron Defense, Darmanitan cannot kill me. Kunkalder cannot kill me. And he decides to forfeit. But I remember being super annoyed in this game, guys. Just because of that freaking... Uh... First of all, he was... First of all, he was running Sticky Bar Rotom Trick. It was annoying, of course. And then, uh, of course, the Gyarados went Dragon and Dragon Tail. But I hope you guys had a good laugh. Like, I... if you saw me in that game, I was like, okay, I win. I win. Easy. I win. And then he drops the Dragon Tail on me. And... <laughs> Everything was going like at Sticky Barb, and then uh, the Weezing turned out to be Sludge Bomb. It was annoying as well. So much annoying stuff. Anyway, I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, of course. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, by the way, guys, you can donate me in game as well. You can message the Adino. Um, hold up. Go back. You can message the Adino, which you see on screen. And maybe every bit of... Every amount helps, guys. Every amount helps. Even if it's only 5k, it helps. Um, like, I got a bunch of donations, which really helped me keep going. And, yeah. I actually want to keep going. So, if, with your guys' support and with me grinding the um, gym leaders from time to time as well, uh, we can keep this channel going. So, definitely cannot do it without your help. I never, I would have never been able to keep it up with your, without your help. And yeah, make sure to join the Discord server as well if you'd like to discuss this game. Get some feedback on your teams in our Rate My Team channel. We usually have a bunch of people responding out there as well, giving feedback. So, good place to be, guys. And check out my Patreon if you are interested in the teams I'm using uh, uh, in my videos. The poker pages are all there with 
uh, a team building text guide on how I came up with the team. So with that all being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.